Hello everyone, Ali from Toe Tarot here. Welcome to my channel. This is the first of hopefully many videos that I will have for you guys with all kinds of tarot content, um, fun deck walkthroughs, uh, deck reviews, interviews with creators, all that kind of stuff. And today I thought there would be, <laughs> sorry about that, I do have dogs. Um, I thought today would be a fun day to talk about a couple decks of mine that a friend in one of my tarot groups created named Case Watson. Uh, a deck, uh, the deck of Ethereal Light, or the Tarot of Ethereal Light, and Tarot Knot. Now this Tarot Knot is the fourth edition that he's made, and I thought it would be fun to walk through them both because they are kind of similar in his art style, but they're different in that the Tarot of Ethereal Light is a little bit brighter, and the Tarot Knot I find is really good for shadow work. So I figured we would just do a little side by side here, and I would show you guys the decks. Um, I'll also leave um, the links down below of where you can get these decks from him. Uh, he's actually based in New Zealand, and these have just truly become some of my favorite decks. So this is the Tarot of Ethereal Light, the backs, very, very nice. The card stock of both of these decks is just the perfect stock, in my opinion. It slides, so easy to shuffle, they just cooperate with you very well. So, anyway, Tarot of Ethereal Light. And then this deck also comes with a little poem. So, love that, but there's that deck. And then this is Tarot Knot, and I decided to keep this um, deck in a bag. They come in white tuck boxes originally, but I had this tin made for Ethereal Light off Make Playing Cards, and then I found this bag that I liked for Tarot Knot that kind of fit the backs. So, that's why I put it in this bag. Um, so there's the back, same kind of cardstock. Again, I'm a huge fan, just perfect in my opinion, not too shiny. Tear Knot 4, and his business is called Chaos Lotus Studios. Alright, so let's go through. So what I like about his decks is that he's got little captions beneath them to kind of, uh, or not captions, keywords beneath them to kind of guide you if you need help, but I find that his decks are very, very intuitive. Um, not like a lot, of, a lot of other tarot decks where I need a guidebook um, or where I even rely on traditional meanings that I know. They're kind of storytelling decks to me. Um, they, they like for me to talk about what I feel rather than see, and they kind of, they're more, I don't know if the word is are artistic or expressive, I guess, than traditional tarot, so I really like that. But you can see, um, and you'll see even more as we go through, that they're both um, beautiful in their own right. So these are the magicians. Now, in both of his decks, um, in, in Tarot of Ethereal Light, at least, there are a couple of cards that you can choose from to uh, swap out if you'd like. Um, he included a different Lilith in the Tarot Knot, uh, and this is the one that I picked. If I think about it, I'll, I'll go back and add a clip at the end of some of the variant cards, because I don't have them with me, I just keep the decks um, as, I, as I built them. But I, I want to say there were five or six in the Ethereal Light that you could change, and then a, f a little bit fewer in the Tarot Knot, but there's still a couple that you can change out. So I really like that too, that he lets you have um, customization with your deck. This one I know for sure, the High Priestess, uh, I changed in the Ethereal Light for the Lilith card. But you can see just the colors itself are definitely different in both decks. And both decks you could read either way, honestly. Um, but like I said, I just feel Tarot Knot is a little bit more shadow work, which I like a lot. And some of the keywords do match on both decks, but he's also got a couple of cards that have different interpretations, which I like. There's the Emperor. 
I really like this emperor in the ethereal light. I think that's a cool image. Same with the emperor. He just, he chooses great images. Your Hierophant. I love this Hierophant in Terranaut. Lovers. Now, I remember that this one too was one that you could change in Ethereal Light. Um, but I like this one because it's it opens more possibilities for your querents as to what kind of relationship they're in. So I liked this image better for the lovers. But they did have a a cisgender couple as well, I believe, is the other image. But I liked this one a little bit more. It's a little bit more fluid. I love both of these chariots. <laughs> this chariot from Ethereal Light is very light and bubbly, and I love the color of that bug. It's just so cool. Very funky and hip. I like the I like the style of this one. And then this chariot from Terra Knot is just badass. Like she's just ready to go. So such cool images. You have strength. Uh, also, when you reach out to Case about ordering his decks, he's really, really good at communicating with you and answering questions. I had a couple cards in his decks that I personally didn't fully understand or, I guess, kind of resonate with the image, and I was able to message him, and he kind of talked to me and explained how he chose a certain image or what he was thinking he kind of gave me a glimpse into his brain and i really appreciated that you don't um you don't really get that too often with deck creators that they're so approachable and ready to to walk you through something again i really like this hanged man from tarot knot but both are this image could be um i suppose a little bit triggering for some um for ethereal light but you know the image itself could be no matter what deck it's in just the concept really so now I did choose the more uh I guess spooky version for ethereal light I want to say I do remember that I chose this as the death card and I chose hell and then this death in terror knot is just kind of intense again I love them both. Death card, the death card and the hermit card uh, are my two really important cards. That and the queen of wands. Those are the three cards that I kind of look at when I'm going to buy a deck to make sure that I can resonate with it. Love these temperance cards. And see, here's a good example. I know that there have been a couple that I didn't talk about, but they give you different interpretations of keywords for temperance, like experimentation versus compromise. It kind of gives you different ways of playing with the idea or the archetype of the card, so I like that a lot. And two, honestly, when you're putting them side by side like this, they they speak to both sides of an archetype as well. Like for the devil, um, you've got Nama and Asmodeus. Asmodeus, I'm going to butcher those names, I know. Um, but you've got restriction and addiction, which are two very um strong keywords for the devil card and they kind of go together restriction and addiction you know so i like i like that a lot and i know that this is one that i chose over the other one for the devil in ethereal light and you've got the tower again just really striking images the star she looks so happy Okay, well actually it's not it, but there are two cards in Terra Knot that are astronaut themed, and this is one of them, and I love both of those cards. I love this image from Ethereal Light, walking through the shell, kind of going to that new place there, breaking breaking through. And this one, just really, really neat as well. I just love his imagery, I don't know. I could stare at his decks all day. Um, now, Ethereal Light also has this card, which is extra, and it's 22, the hero, completion. You could kind of say it relates back to the Fool, um, 
so I left it in here. But uh, yeah, Tarot Knot doesn't have that, but this is from Ethereal Light. And now we will get into the wands. Again, you can see the contrast between the two decks, and I just... It's so fun to look at decks like this from different creators, too, because some of it may be pretty similar, some of it may be different, but I like how you can see the transition that the artist has made between their decks and the different styles or the different mindsets that they were in when creating. Love this image for the Three of Wands. Both of them are very strong. And this is one of the images that he kept relatively, relatively similar in both decks. Um, but it makes sense, you know, that is the idea behind Five of Wands competition, or you could say, you know, struggle, strife, fighting, whatever. But this is a really strong image for that word. Let's see, praise and recognition, just perfection. <laughs> I love that little cat. Just staring down that dog like, um, yes. <laughs> I remember loving this too, um, from Tarot of Ethereal Light. Just you're you know, you're you're drowning. Lots coming at you all at once and you've gotta navigate that river. Just very strong metaphor. See in this deck, he's got the pages as knaves. Another little change that he's made. Oh, got myself all mixed up here. Look at these queens. I love this one. I am big into Dia de los Muertos. Um, I am Hispanic in descent, so I love anything regarding Sugar Skulls, Dia de los Muertos. That's a, that's a very strong connection for me. Now see, I will pause here real quick. Um, this Ace of Cups is one of the images that I had asked Case about. I was like, can I ask you why you put a light bulb on the Ace of Cups? I mean, I see a light bulb more as, uh, you know, Ace of Wands. And he was like, well, you know, you, you kind of walk into a room and you light up the room with your love, with your emotion, your charisma. You know, it's, it's, it is an awakening. It's a new outpour of that emotion. So I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And I hadn't thought about it that way, but he, I found that his decks kind of have challenged me a little bit into opening my interpretations and the way that I think about tarot. And so that's one reason why I will always love his decks. Sixes. This one hurts my heart a little bit. <laughs> and I don't know why. It shouldn't, but it just kind of, I don't know, takes me back, man. But again, just 
out of all these images, you can certainly tell oranges, yellows, greens, blues, purples, blacks, grays, greens, dark reds. <laughs> it's definitely a different color palette here. They're also fun to use together. Like if you know, uh, if you want a shadow and light spread, if you want, you know, a kind of mixing of emotions, mixing, uh, you know, having readings that are coming from both sides of an issue. These are really, really great for that. Love this Queen of Cups. Um, also, I hadn't said it yet, but the Tarot Knot, um, it just, even though it is a literally darker deck, I have found that both are equally compassionate and caring and loving decks. Um, and they both, they both convey their message in a comfortable way. Although I will say Tarot Knot is a bit more confronting, which I personally enjoy. Both of them have the um, potential to do it. Um, I've had both of them kind of give me attitude <laughs> when reading with them, but I love this sweet little Four of Swords from Ethereal Light. And this is one card in both decks that I just, she looks so badass. <laughs> oh, cameo by Coda. <laughs> Oh, and Cooper. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Now, this one was one that I wanted to make a point to talk about. Uh, with us being in the midst of this crazy pandemic, and I myself being a nurse in the operating room, or surgery. <sighs> There's Cooper drinking. <laughs> so sorry, guys. Life with dogs. Um... But yeah, especially as a nurse in this pandemic, this one really hits home. Just that feeling of, my God, I'm spent. She's so sweet, look at her little face. Ah, okay. Here's the card that I was talking about earlier. This is probably my favorite card in the Tarot Knot deck, and it's the Knight of Swords. He's just hanging out, trying to hitchhike to Mars. <laughs> I love that the sky is that beautiful purple. Boys. Quit it. Look at this Queen of Swords. Again, I just because I tend to like darker decks, I do lean more towards Terra Knot. But I do, I promise I appreciate them both. They're both amazing. I really like this Three of Pentacles too. Just gorgeous. Now, this card was another one that I'd asked him about. Um, and this is actually an image of Jesus and his mother Mary. And this card image kind of speaks to uh, in, in Christianity, you know, if uh, if you operate on that belief system that Jesus uh, came, died on the cross, saved all sinners, um, and is the Son of God, that is a massive contribution. And so, you know, this is his mother supporting him through that after giving the biggest contribution. And you don't necessarily have to follow Christianity or be 
a Christian to appreciate that image. It is, it is a very strong one, no matter who you are. Boys. <laughs> every day, guys. This is every day <laughs> in my house. This one really hits home, too. Coda. Alright, well, they're just gonna, they're just gonna be playing in the background, so sorry about it. Nine of Pentacles. I like how both of these images really do uh, speak more to luxury and treating yourself. I like that. Ten of Pentacles. I remember loving this card and feeling like it was something off of Treasure Planet. Like you got this floating castle in the sky and the ship floating with balloons. It's just a really, really neat card image. And this one, the shadow side, you know, it is, it's been there, it has a story, it, it's had its own lifetime, and that, again, speaks to the Ten of Pentacles. It's not, it's not always literally having it all, but this one gives you a different way to think about it. It's, how long has this home been here? What all has it seen? What all has it been through? And it's still standing. And that does speak to the, to the idea of legacy. So just very, he opens your mind with these decks and that's why I love them so, so much. Uh, I will uh, try to have him on for a short interview. He definitely said that he would be uh, willing to hang out with me. So that should be coming soon. Um, if you guys are interested, just let me know. Uh, I did a similar walkthrough. I have an Instagram and a Facebook group devoted to my tarot stuff as well. Um, and that's Toe Tarot, so I'll leave those links too. But uh, on my Toe Tarot group, I did have an interview with an artist named Rachel Rosenketter, who did the Rainbow Heart Tarot. So I'll probably be uploading that video as well. Um, but I look forward to talking to Case. I mean, I talk to him all the time. Um, just anyway, because we've become friends, but he's just great. Now, I will say that probably one of my other favorite cards that he has um, created are his King of, Kings of Pentacles. Uh, I asked him, you know, uh, a clown? <laughs> why, you know, why a clown? That doesn't, I'm not sure. What was your, what was your thought there? Um, and he said, you know, you, you work in the circus. The boss is not afraid to put the makeup on and work right down there with his team and be in the middle of the three ring circus. He's not just a boss from afar. He gets involved. He gets, he gets in there and same thing. He looks kind of like a construction foreman, but he's got the hard hat and the dirty bibs and he's right in there with his crew doing the work. So I love that idea for the King of Pentacles. But yeah, those are the decks. This again, is the Tarot of Ethereal Light. And I do believe uh, Case had told me that if you order from him and you mention my name, that he will give you a discount on your deck. So I will also leave that information below. But one more quick look here. Let's see all the color. Phenomenal. And then the Tarot Knot. He's got a lot of other decks as well. Um, he's got one that is a deck that is composed of images of cheese. He's got one that is devoted to metalwork, uh, statues, chains, masonry, that kind of thing. So he's got decks with lots of different styles. So I recommend you go and check out his Facebook. Um, 
check out some images of the decks that he has and like I said mention my name and uh, he'll get you a little discount but that is it thank you all so much for hanging out with me and my noisy dogs <laughs> for a look into these decks the tarot of ethereal light and the tarot knot I hope you enjoyed as I said this is my first video so we will only go up from here <laughs> and I will see you guys in the comments and see you next video Bye!